Okay. How much does past performances like against Indiana and others maybe prepare you for a moment like that? And yeah. Uh, yeah, they definitely uh, help, especially just being an experienced guy, kind of going through tough crowds like this. I uh, just want to be kind of the guy that the young guys can lean on and see kind of how we should react in certain situations. They made a tough run on us, and we knew they were going to. They're a really good team, and we just wanted to respond the right way. There's been a lot of talk about how this team needed to find things through adversity that you could only find it in the game. What do you think you guys learned about yourself in game one here in some pretty adverse situations? Oh, yeah, I think we found out kind of what type of guys we got, just guys that really care. You can't really go wrong. You know, everybody's going to make mistakes. It's a long game. It's, it's new. We're a new team, uh, new faces. So as long as they give their all, you can't really ask for anything else. You said, oh, guys, last year didn't have to say much because you knew who to look to, you knew who to turn to. Yeah. What was it like in some of these moments here late in the game where you guys are figuring out new roles, you're figuring out some of those new leadership things? Yeah, I think it was just a game where everyone was kind of just feeling their way around, especially in the beginning. But then guys started making plays late down the stretch, and we kind of just go to the, hand, the hot hand at the time. Just make the right play. That's pretty much the biggest thing. Uh, Luther made a huge three in the corner, and that, that was big for us. Uh, Caleb got a huge dunk. So it was just different guys at different times made huge plays for us. What about the three you made over Scott? I mean, you saw how high he can get up on that one play he blocked. So you had him, um, and, you, and he was right there. So how did you set him up for that, and how were you able to get it over him and make it? Uh, just time in the gym over the summer. We work on that. Uh, me and Coach Peter have been working on just separation and getting my shot off over bigger defenders. And so. It was the perfect time to kind of use the moves that we worked on, and it, it worked. Were you conscious? Like, are you when you're in that situation, do you know who's on you and what he's capable of doing? Yeah, for sure. At this point, we kind of familiar with the guys and what they're capable of just from scouting reports, things like that. So I knew that they had one of their better defenders, and I had to kind of shoot a little higher than normal. What did you think of this environment and this atmosphere and, and, and playing the spoiler? <laughs> yeah, we definitely knew it was, it was going to be a raucous crowd. Uh, a couple of my friends couldn't get tickets just because they sold out so fast. And so we knew that the, their crowd was a big part in, in how they were going to play, especially being the first game of the year, new arena. Their crowd was they're pretty amazing for it to be a first game. CJ, is this Thank team you. better than you guys thought you were going to be, especially this early in the season? Uh, it's kind of hard to tell at this point. We've only had one game, so it's like... like I know, but know. like, were you expecting this tonight? Were you expecting you guys to play this well defensively? and, you know, make some adjustments there at halftime and, and kind of get the offense going as well. I mean, I guess you could say so. We got a lot of talented guys, you know, guys that, like I said before, really care. And coaches preach defense since practice one uh, a month and a half ago. So at this point, we kind of just hang our hat on that, and then we do what we do every day. It just happens to be game day. Obviously, you've got a tough schedule ahead of you, but how much confidence does this give you now going into games like Creighton and stuff like that moving forward. Yeah, definitely. I guess it gives guys kind of feel what, what it's going to be like. Uh, Monday, well, Sunday we got a big one coming up. Uh, very good for you. It's a Fort Wayne team coming in. We're going to be ready for that. CJ, could you guys have won this game at the beginning of last season? Like, were you, were you built yet to, to win a game like this at the beginning of last year? Um, I'm not sure. I, I, don't, I don't know. Just, uh, I guess I'm asking about the team's resiliency. Like, toward the end of the year, middle of the year, last year you guys showed a, a high level of resiliency, maybe yeah. not at the beginning. Just what was your feel for that with this team coming into this year? Uh, I think we just play a lot how Coach Hold is, and he's just that type of person, kind of how you just are saying resilient, work hard kind of guy. And so we kind of took the shape after him. And, and once he kind of got his hands on this team, it was so new. Last year's team was kind of a little established. Um, we were kind of all from a, another coaching staff, so this team is kind of basically his team. And so we all just took after him, and that win has a lot to do with Coach Holt. I think you really stepped up as uh, one of the guys when everything was starting to kind of tighten up it, to give a really good message to the team. What was the message you gave them to try and settle them down? Basically, we knew that they were going to make a run. They're a good team. Uh, we prepared for that. Uh, all, all the practices throughout. Uh, we didn't want. We knew it wasn't going to be easy. And we don't want it any other way. So just basically, we got to stay together. Not the biggest thing. What you thinking on the last play there? I mean, it's four point game, and then uh, you're holding it for one shot Caleb, on the shot clock. Just what's going through your mind as you kind of get a step on him? Oh, uh, I just got to kind of put it high on the glass. He's an excellent Long defender. Arms, yeah. yeah, yeah. So he's already had a, you know, the, the block over there in the corner. Mm -hmm. So it basically just put it high on the glass, and you kind of live for moments like that when you come to schools like that, and you can get to play your in-school rival. So mm -hmm. it's rather better way to, you know, go out. Holman talked a lot about how. You guys can learn from these early games, and you can't you can't necessarily learn what you want to in practice. So, when you look back at today, what do you what do you think you learned about your guys? 
just how hard we got to play to just even be able to compete against these good teams, um, especially when the conference season starts and we got a tough non-conference. It's going to be a grind every game. Um, Coach spoke and how he scheduled a tough, tough schedule for us, and so we know every day in practice, every day in the game, we have to bring it. Why do you Why do you know that you have to play hard? Is it Is it an idea that you sort of know that you guys lost some guys last year? Uh, it's that, and we we just know like we well, that's just what we got to do. That's our identity, and mm -hmm. so we got to hang our hat on the defensive end and kind of like being first to the floor on loose balls, just things like that, boxing out, not not giving up offensive rebounds and. Yeah.